Hi there, recently I went for a bikepacking weekend adventure. My plan was to head out and enjoy the weekend and just go where I felt like. I ended up cycling 230 kilometers over the weekend. Starting in George, I spent the first evening in Sedgefield after cycling about 48 kilometers. The second day I cycled from Sedgefield to Plett, which was about 69 kilometers and the Sunday I cycled back from Plettenberg Bay to George, which was 110 kilometers. Thanks for joining me for this bikepacking fun adventure. Okay, so I'm about to set off on my weekend mission. I'm gonna cycle about 40 kilometers today. And yeah, hopefully all goes well. Bike is backed up and I'm gonna set off now. Sweet. Steep section this on the seven passes the road. Sure. This bridge was built in, I believe, around 1913, so it's like 110 years old. And this piece broke off a couple of years ago, apparently, when they were flooding or maybe someone crashed into it. But yeah, very beautiful bridge. It's hard to get view from on top of here so yeah I had a quick snap here and then I'm gonna mission on okay almost at the end of the pass Say about a kilometer more of climbing, then it's a massive downhill into wilderness. Then I want to push on to Klankrons, which is just just behind, just behind wilderness. Upon a refill there, my water and buy some snacks and stuff, and then mission on to Sedgefield. Unfortunately on the main road, but it's okay, it's not the longest distance, then I'm there. Done about 20 kilometers now, almost halfway, and yeah, I think it's a good distance for just taking it easy today. I'm on a gravel truck now, uh, just past wilderness. Between Wilderness and Sedgefield, uh, just before Klankrans, uh, but sure, this gravel is extremely bumpy. Uh, but yeah, not to complain. The sun is shining. Uh, there's no real wind. Uh, it was really nice to smell the ocean when coming down into Wilderness. And uh, yeah, just have to make 
improve with this for the next couple of kilometers and then I'm on uh, Pave Road again. Speed. Okay, 40 kilometers into the day. Oh, this main road is really busy at the moment. I think it's cause it's like 4 p.m. on a Friday, it's like rush hour. But it's still very beautiful scenery. And from here, it's basically gonna be a descent. Then I'm there. Okay, not gonna risk it now. See you later. Okay. So, I'm off the main road now. This road basically just leads to the beach and to the campsite where I'm heading to. Uh, yeah, it's still early, it's still four, but yeah, it gives me enough time to just chill and relax and enjoy what I'm paying for, the campsite, the accommodation. And yeah, I am tired. Uh, if I get to the campsite, it's going to be about 47 kilometers that I did today. Uh, wow, it's really beautiful here so far and yeah, hopefully everything goes smooth by the campsite and I hope it's a nice campsite, I've never been here so yeah, exciting stuff, sweet! Okay in this beach and uh, yeah I can see it's a very rustic vibe see so uh, yeah I'm gonna eat something and uh, I'm gonna eat the chalk up sweet So it's just before nine now and uh, unfortunately these people have been playing music for like three hours. Uh, I don't know how much you can pick up on the microphone but it's starting to get to me a bit now. Uh, just trying to okay, stay calm, but uh, yeah, today was a good, a fun day. Uh, trying not to think too much and uh, just trying to enjoy the moment. Okay, so I just stopped here next to the road for a quick stop and. Uh, then it's a, a nice big uh, descent into ice now. Where I'm gonna stop and eat something and rest up for a bit. But uh, yeah, it's still early morning. I think it's about half past eight now. Between eight and nine. Sweet. So I didn't film much on my way to Plittenberg Bay because the main road was quite busy. But I made it safely to the campsite and the owner said that I could camp for free which was very nice and I was very pleased and happy.
decided to move the tent quickly. Um, this is a much better spot and uh, much quieter. So, yeah, very happy. So after a perfect Sunday morning packing up, I was now ready to take on the 110 kilometers back to George. So I'm uh, just taking a break here next to the main road just outside just past nice now no, on my way back to George and uh, yeah yeah I'm tired I must say um, I've done 48 kilometers so far today which is already a quite a distance and uh, yeah next main point is Sedgefield and uh, in wilderness and then back to George. I haven't taken much footage today. I'm um, just focused uh, focused on the riding pretty much, but I will try and take some videos. Sweet. Okay, so I've made it past wilderness now and uh, pushing my bike up this steep section it's very beautiful here the forest and the ocean but yeah about I'm probably about just over 20 kilometers from home now but uh, yeah you are tired okay gonna tackle this Last piece of this climb and then hopefully make it home. Peace. So I've made it back to Silver River. Uh, oh, feeling tired but glad I made it to here. Gonna rest a bit now and eat something and Enjoy this beautiful nature.
see this bridge was built in 1903 so it's 121 years old I can't believe it but uh, yeah folks I think that's probably going to be it now for me for filming this weekend adventure uh, yeah thanks for following along with me peace take care Oh guys, so I feel felt so much better after that stop by Silver River and eating something. And uh, this last 10, 15 kilometers since Wilderness, since I turned off the main road, has been so peaceful and quiet. It's amazing. There's like no cars, no people. Just silence and uh, yeah about 10 kilometers from home now uh, but yeah feeling much better than I did before taking that rest and eating sweet I decided to put this last bit in because I was amazed at how much better I felt after taking a proper rest for about 20 minutes and eating properly. I felt like a different person. If that's the main thing I take away from this preparation weekend for my 3500 kilometers longer ride is that it's important to take things easy. The final 10 kilometers back home my cycling computer malfunctioned. Luckily I made it home safely and my computer is working again. I don't know what happened. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.